the Mutant V2 is finally finished, and I can't wait to tell you about all the great new features. So starting off, you can see it's made of a high quality glass filled nylon. The whole body can resist very high temperatures, even enclosures up to 140 degrees C operating temperature. So you should be able to use this in any real life situation. The mutant is made of two parts, the fixed plate, which goes to the machine and the mobile plate that we mount our hot ends and tools to. So let me tell you a little bit about each. The fixed plate assembly comes with these new high quality spring loaded pogo pin connectors. When the two are mated and they make connection, this transfers the electrical connection from your machine to your tool end. These pogo pins are rated for over 10,000 cycles. So it should be good for your whole lifetime of your use. Um, the mobile plate, you're gonna notice a lot of new changes. First of all, we have 18 terminal connectors here. They're actually lettered and labeled. These terminal connectors are rated at three amps each and all of, of course, the, the PCBs as well for these. Uh, they can handle wire gauges of 26 to 18 AWG wire gauge. And then we also have two larger terminal connectors. That's for your heater blocks and high powered, and they're rated at 10 amps each. And these can handle 26 to 16 AWG uh, wire gauge. You'll also notice that instead of the old hole pattern, we actually have slot patterns. These slot patterns allow the mutant to mount natively, literally thousands of combinations of hot ends and direct drives and tools. And we will have guides up in our website showing all the different positions for the various hot ends and mounts. Besides natively screwing directly to the mutant, and I'm not gonna go on, we have packets and packets of these. You'll be able to download these from the website. Besides natively being able to mount to the mobile plate, there's also a whole slew of 3D models to mount specific custom duct work and tool heads and accessories made by many of our beta testers. And we're looking forward to the community growth of models for different tool supports available. You can see on the back side, there are these rectangular slots. And the reason why is they come with stainless steel square nuts, allowing you to screw through and move the part into position and get it just right. They slide together very nicely with a very firm fit and then they lock down with the lever arm and there is no play whatsoever. We've also created a firmware guide which allows you to update your firmware to have a tool selector on your main machine UI and that'll be available on our website as well. Okay, as you can see the mutant uh, will accept the native hot end from the Creality CR10 X-Pro um, and it wires up neatly to the mobile plate and it's ready to be removed at any time. With our all metal coupler, the Bowden tube releases very nicely and you are ready to put on any configuration of hot end or tool head that you like. In this case, we have a E3D style hot end with a very strong front fan and a 5015 part blower fan um, ready to go. So it's that fast to switch between hot ends and tools. So there's chock full of a lot of new features. We can't wait to see what everybody does with it. Thank you.